to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And I am losing today. We are out on the lake um, catching some fish and I am the only one who has not caught a fish yet today. Uh, but that's about to change. The reason, I have a good excuse though. I have a really good excuse. <laughs> I, I, I'm the only one. I'm the only one who will pull the fish off the lines, and I haven't been able to hardly get my pole into the water because they've been catching fish so fast. Um, but that is where we are today. Uh, we're out on Utah Lake. Uh, for all of those of you wondering, and it's actually a beautiful, beautiful day. The lake is very smooth. Um, the weather is not too hot, not too cold. It's really, really nice out here. Um, and we're catching some, uh, well, the white, white bass is what we're picking up today. The tiny little white bass. Yeah, little, little tiny white bass. Um, but I do have Keith here with me. He is back, so we will be able to answer all of your questions. Get those in now. Um, I've got my phone here cooling off. I set it in the sun for just a hot minute, and... Oh, but it looks like it's back on now, so I will get to your questions. We'll do some shout-outs. I do have some sweet swag to give away. It's been a couple of weeks since I've given anything away, so we're going to do that here in just a minute. Um, I've, got some, I've got like a duck's hat, which is really cool. Um, I've got some uh, Sitka hats that I'm going to give away, and I've got some DVDs as well that we're going to do. How about that Mustang life jacket? We're not giving away the Mustang life jacket. Not today, huh? No, no, that's, that's mine. I don't know, why would I give that away? I need it for my safety. Safety first. Safety first. Ambry is also here. So the count so far is what? Four to four. Four to four. Ambry versus Keith and Jeffrey, who is zero. Um, but that's going to change. I'm going to get my pull into the water. Ambry refused to uh, quit fishing. So she is watching the camera and fishing at the same time. So. Hey, Pops, hold yeah. on a minute. Did you... <laughs> Someday I'm going to make Keith pull off his own fish. Maybe I he'll did quit. It all last year. Maybe he'll quit catching I fish. Put my gloves on. Oh, I caught him and some seaweed. Look at that. How many is that now? Five? Five. It's five. Five. Hey, I'm actually leading a challenge. I know Keith is winning right now. Oh, settle, settle. Simmer down now. You're blocking my view. <laughs> hold on to it. Hold on to it. <laughs> That's about the biggest one we've caught. That is. Actually, it's about the, they're all about the same size. Uh, for a while we thought it was maybe the same fish yeah apparently there's like 10 fish in this lake that's about 17 miles long and i don't know how wide but Ambry's catching them off of one side and i'm off the other side jeff's just been kind of been a good good sport about uh catching it or releasing the catch i uh i'm the guide today i'm just guiding today so i'm not maybe i won't even compete and then i won't lose if i don't compete oh no you're competing you've thrown that pole in the water or not. all right well i'm gonna get my pole out while we're going we couldn't um, get some of our other guides travis from backwater or glade today so we're just doing it on ourselves we took a little hint from the uh the little ranger dude kind of told us kind of where to go gave us a couple little ideas so we're doing it. We're not catching anything big, but at least we're catching you something. You know, this is, it's a change. Like Keith and I don't know what to do about it because it's so new and different to actually <laughs> catch I, something. I can't hit him with an arrow, so I'll hook him with a hook. I know. Keith will actually continue fishing if he catches something instead of yes. just sitting there on his phone being all grumpy. All grumpy about it. Like, let's go home. Let's go home. I this is boring. I know. It's all good. Um, but we are going to be taking questions too, so get your questions out about your uh, motors, uh, gearing, any kind of uh, you know question you may have. Our favorite topic is always the prop. Always the Everybody's prop. Everybody's going to talk about the propeller. That's been the hot subject for like weeks now. I hope nobody saw that. Hopefully everybody <laughs> was looking away when that happened. Um, Bob Dreyer said he just pulled the trigger on his new 25th anniversary. Did you do it? Oh, I did it. Yeah. Go, Bob. Bob, I'm going to send you a hat. Although, you got to tell me which hat you don't already have because <laughs> I think you might have every hat we offer. Well, tell us something you don't have, Bob, and we'll. Bob, that's that exciting. To you. Congratulations, Bob. That's really So, really Bob, fun. you got an anniversary what? 40 or 50? Uh, it says 40 EFI. 40, 40 EFI. Great motor. Best yeah, idea I ever had. Are we? What's that? that? Oh, we were calling each other. We're not. Okay. He said, "Best idea I ever had." Yeah, it is. Frank Williams like, says, "Bob, hi. I feel like that's the best idea I ever had for you." I'm pretty sure Keith and I have been suggesting that for you for a while now. But 
But you know, do you know what's really nice though, Keith? Oh, Jeff, what's really nice? That was a very good cast. Last, um, okay. last couple of weeks, you know, the, uh... Oh, oh, I got one! Oh, no, 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 Woo! no, no! Yeah! Oh, that That's is a baby. one. I'm going to take my own fish off my, uh, line. How about that? How about that? How about it? Catch it in the lake. How about that? All right, that's one. Ooh, he nailed that sucker. Ooh, yeah, he chomped on that. So, uh, Jeff? What? Did you do anything exciting last weekend? Did I do anything exciting last weekend? Anything that used some type of, like, vocal cord? <laughs> I'm not getting I'm not getting enough guys out there in the shallow no, water. No, they have to, not felt uh, like they they need to hear Jeff and his windpipe. I've seen it, guys. You need to hear it. No, I uh, yeah, I did. I had I had several shows that I did. Oh my gosh, <laughs> six. Oh, so that's six for him, four for you, and one for me. Is yeah, that what we're doing? Kicking trash. Team Jeremy and Team Mitchell are kicking trash today. Team Jeremy, man. Jeremy oh. called me after I told him there were no fish in Utah yesterday on their show <laughs> and gave me some pointers. Well, listen, we have already caught more than they have caught the entire series. Of That's all true. the shows they've ever run, we've caught more. So, so you know, take that. Take that. Catch and release. Catch and release. <laughs> I catch them, Jeffrey releases them. Yeah, seriously. So, anything other exciting oh, besides that? No, you know, I spent I spent some good time. Man, this one is going to, you might have to down. cover for me for a minute while okay. I... He really chomped the crap out so, of it. So uh, I'll talk about why I missed last week because daughter number five graduated from high school. Yes. Five girls, five graduates. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. No more graduations for me. It wasn't too bad. There was 507 graduates in her class. How many? 507? 507. That's not Two too bad. Two hours and 40 minutes. Sitting in a hot gymnasium <laughs> in the state. My graduation class had almost 1,100. Oh, no, 500 was too many. No, 500 is too many. That's actually about what my class was. I think mine was about that, but that was a long time ago. I know. Were there that many people? There weren't even 1,100 people on earth when Keith graduated <laughs> high school. There were two. There were two. There were 500 in one class. No, I, uh, we just barbecued with oh look at this oh that sucks you can't get it that fast yeah you did it's almost like my first cast um no we just did family barbecue because the weather was bad here is what we did oh, it was horrible yeah it was not fun are again. you kidding me you two hey, how about i just match you one oh one gosh. seven two and four seriously I told you, Team Jeremy hooked me up on that. Oh, he did. He he gave you the the, the, the skinny. The I, and skinny. actually, we didn't talk, but maybe he uh, he talked to the fish oh. people upstairs last night and said, "Will you oh, help sorry, my guys. poor buddy Keith? Because he's getting really depressed. His ADD kicks in after about ten minutes if he's not catching." But so, like, who is that? Is that you know, like who's who's the upstairs? Is that the the fishing gods? The fishing gods. What's yes. his name? The fishing know. god, the, the sea god. What, no, no, Poseidon. Poseidon. No, 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 no. Titan? Jason Momoa. Jason oh. In the movie. Oh, yeah. Well, what oh, is... get off me. Who brought the bug spray? Seriously, though. I'm going to have to Ooh. dip him back down in yeah, the water. Yeah, you go ahead and leave him in the water, because tell him to get in line. <laughs> he is. Number seven. I don't want to keep bringing that number up, but I think that's my lucky is number. Is that your lucky number? No. Oh, that's, that's a... I know, that might be the biggest one so far. I got a D got hooked two times. Bob Dreyer said um, his new motor came with a Raptor. Is there an advantage to switching it back to a big blade? Um, that's all he's ever used to um, is the big blade. So the he's big wondering. Blade, Bob, if you're going to push heavy loads, go with the two blade. If you're doing some light loads and fishing, the Raptor will be really good for you. Yeah. Um, make sure you get about, oh, so go through your manual. I want to say it's about four to five hours of varying the speed from half throttle to three quarter to get a good break in on that. Um, you can use either one. If you're just doing fishing loads really light, oh, now he's poaching over here, guys. Well, the boat is turned. Like, I mean, <laughs> look where we are now. So I have to, there's nowhere else to go. We'll turn the boat around. It's a much... Woo, good one. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to tell a story really, Bob. Uh, we'll get back to you. Oh yeah. Woo. 
<laughs> crushing it right now. Apparently where Keith was is the spot to be, man. Apparently. I'm now fishing where Jeff was fishing and I'm not catching anything. Um, as long as you don't catch me today, I'll be all right. <laughs> so if you catch me, I'm done. No, so Memorial Day. So it's it's weather, right? It's the bad weather. And so we've got I got a bunch of nephews and we got the family all around and you know normally it's a it's a barbecue outdoors and we love a little wiffle ball game and what is that four for me? Four no. to seven? Three to seven. Three. Are you sure? No, you might have got no, four. I, I think that's four. Because you got yeah, you got one over here and then two really quickly and then that one, right? Yeah, so I think that's my four. Dang. Four to seven. And oh, so yeah. we're tied now, Jeff. Yes. Dang it. So is what we did is that my my dear mother has the keys to a local church house. So we went in and we took all the kids and we had a vicious basketball game. Oh, I like Yeah, those. in the gymnasium. And it was very awesome. So we did that, and then we we went and got some food, and we just kind of hung out. It was it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. On the old yeah, Monday the old. was Monday was quiet for my family. We did a uh, had one of my married daughters and her husband and some good friends over. And of course, you know when it's Keith and outdoor grill and it's camp oh, chef. It's camp chef. So we had uh, I think three or four racks of ribs. Couple tri tip. There was two. There were two ribs left. That was all. That was it. It was it. We Man. we we killed it. And so did our camp chef. The smoker is amazing. So I had a, about those guys. I had a long conversation with uh, my brother-in-law, who is our our family grill master, about the differences between a Traeger and a camp chef. Because you know he, you know they they don't know any better. Maybe you know because Traegers you know got that. Awesome name. See that airplane? Oh, check out that airplane. Yeah. Little seaplane right here. That's awesome. I don't see that all the time. We're talking about Traeger and Sorry, Camp yeah, Chef. Traeger and Camp Chef. And I was like, they've got the, the Camp Chef has the really awesome sear box. Yes, yeah, you can get some of those new box. ones. And that's what I was like, that's, you know, like, there's some cool stuff that you got to really look at. That's the next thing that I need to get. I don't have one yet. The Camp Chef has the sear box? Yeah, yeah. Camp Chef has this. $249 retail. Hmm. You know what's my absolute favorite? They're amazing on that thing. Yeah, I love Papa Murphy's Pizza. They're, and they're quick and easy. Yeah, and one thing, one thing because I have a few friends and relatives who have various kind of smokers. Uh, they're completely different than a barbecue grill. Oh, and we got one. You can't just throw it on there and be done, depending on what you're cooking. Like my ribs, I think I put my ribs on for, it was a solid five hours on high smoke. On a high smoke. It came out really Ooh, nice, but it. it's not something you throw the burgers on and, uh, and get it done in like uh, 30 seconds, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. It, oh, son of a beaner, it just fell off. Did I say that aloud? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, he was right here, too. Darn it. <coughs> that was a crappy cast. That was a... <coughs> that was a... But yeah, I, I love... I love That's what happens chef. live, guys. You know, I don't know much about <laughs> trade or anything like that, but I know the camp chefs uh, really well. Our buddy Ryan's... Uh, I know That's we haven't stuff with us. We haven't talked to him for a while. I wonder what he's doing. No. And guys, I know we keep saying it. The, the, the little stove that we're using is close. We need one, one more part. All the black rails came in that we have hooked to uh, the salty assassin are on it. And uh, hey, Jeff, here's number eight. For you. Ah, <laughs> so here's here's fish number eight for Jeff. I appreciate this, Jeff. Um, but yeah, the black you. rail, we have those in 6, 12, 18, and 24. Those are now available. The slide oh. part. Yes. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I, I forgot we were going to do this. You know, keep going. I totally so, forgot this I was forgot. a whole thing. So the one piece that we're missing is a piece that bolts down to the... Um, dang it, I just tied it up. Uh, 
can't talk and fish at the same no, time. No, I can't. There's a lot of things I can't do. I'm not a good multitasker. All right, here, I'll continue on. So that's the Camp Chef. It's really close. That is not quite ready, the actual bracket for the, for the actual uh, grill. But these, this, the E-Track, this is called the, the E-Track right here, and it's the one that, that uh, sets into the T-Rail um, and then uh, is, is stronger, can hold on to, um, like, uh, what are those course now that I can't think because apparently I can't stand and talk at the same time um, anyway some 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 bigger things can go in that like the, like, like the camp chef and uh, what's those things and they hold the big arms out and uh, down, uh, rigger. down riggers that's what it is um, hold your down riggers but they are available in in a 6 a 12 an 18 and a 24 they are on there right now but I will tell you this all of you out there watching right now I have there's a sale going on for you guys who are watching, this is the only place I'm saying it, but you can get 10% off everything. Um, all of the fishing accessories and all the Mud Buddy stuff is 10% off if you use code Shallow Water. Right before you check out, there's a little spot where you can uh, type in a little promotion code, put in Shallow Water, and you get 10% off. Um, so we've got all of these, um, all of the tracks are on there. This one that I'm going to show you doesn't have the knobs on it because this was a tester, um, but it has the knobs, and these bigger pieces come with... Uh, I'm not I'm not sure the I think the six or the twelves come with two, the eighteens come with three, and the twenty-fours come with four knobs, I believe. Is it, I, yeah. I don't know. I know um, they're in there. In I the package, that's how they are, but I don't remember exactly how they come out. Um but that's really awesome. We also have that just came onto the store today. The is, cup holder. Is right here. Quit fishing, Ambry. I'm trying, I'm trying to reel it in, but But I've got so this the uh the cup holder is now available on. It's got its own special bracket that slides right into the the T-bolt rail, um, and so that is on there right now. You can go and get that. Can't tell Those are if amazing. Can see it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Can you guys see that? Okay. Places. Look how awesome that is. There that is. is really handy. But those of you who are interested in that, there are. When I left the office, there were only seven left. They've been up for about a day, so they are going very fast. So if you are interested in those. Um, go on and grab them right now. That's in the XL Boats store. Um, you can grab those and use code Shallow Water uh, for ten percent off. How is that for a uh, happy Apparently, day? we can only have one cup holder because all right. Mine's <laughs> I know this is a test. I know I'm going to end up selling that to somebody. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to be like, I really, really want one. I'll pay Jeffrey privately a thousand dollars for it, and then I got it for nineteen ninety five, Cash American. Cash American. You just send it right to my PayPal account. I got some if stuff I to give away. A I'm an old school guy, you know that. I, know. I taught Keith Venmo the other day. You did. We were working on Keith's Venmo the other day. <laughs> Listen, I gotta take care of something on this phone. My brother just asked me if I wanted to play golf later today, and I really do. <laughs> just kidding, I'll, I'll answer him in a bit. Hey, uh, th th we must not be, we're in a hot spot, but according to uh, my visual over there, that's the hot spot because you got what eight or no, nine guys, like standing nine in people water. all standing over there. I wonder if they're catching cats over there. I don't know. They might. I wonder if they're they noodling over there. In the, the striper two area. They're all in the, the water. So. Yeah, they're all in the water. I wouldn't be surprised if they're noodling. All right, all right. I'm pulling this up. Let's. I'm. I'm going to try and give some stuff away here. Do we got any good questions? I'm sure we do. Nobody's Amber's been really looking because Amber is seconds. more focused on winning. Then she is on making this an excellent do I show have for everybody. 10 now? No, eight. <laughs> I know you. We straighten this out though. I think yep. it might be all wonky. Wonky. I can't really see where Keith here, is. Everybody. Keith, trying can you move a, a little bit? There you go. There you are. Okay. Super. Oh, dark. here we go. Just, just blocking me. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh no, Travis has been answering some questions for us while so we've been. So is Enrique, Travis. I think. Can't go fishing with us, but he'll answer our questions. Yeah, right. He's just sitting around doing nothing. I got Brian Rutherford on. Um, question about the EFI 5000. Could I use a Neptune fuel controller to increase performance? Uh, you know what? That's a good one for Travis. Yes. Travis or Mike, I don't know much about their kits. I need to, I need to sit down and spend some time with, with those guys at BPS and, uh, yeah, get into some of their, uh, some of their performance parts, but they're <laughs> always available. You can go to backwaterperformancesystems.com. Um, you can call over there, talk to Travis, talk to Corbin, talk to Glade, Clay. any one of them. They are really crazy knowledgeable, and, and we'll hit that up. Well, you can um, ask Jamie, but she'll just refer you to one of the boys. <laughs> also, let's see. Jer Jeremy is watching. 
Jeremy Co is on. Hey, Jeremy. So I got eight, brother. Jeremy, Keep yes, you you're winning. The team, team, whatever. Grease the drive. Check the valve lash. This is Travis replying to somebody. I'm. I do. I apologize, everybody. I'm not getting as many comments that I'm sure are coming through. So I'm. We we will try and get to all of these as we can. I must got too crowded. Those guys in the boat are leaving. I don't like the way the boat's turning here. Don't you? No, You're gonna have to fish on the other side I'm for a little bit. I'm completely out of where my honey hole was. Also, big shout out to Eminem Marine in Savannah. That's where Bob bought his uh, Bob, motor nice. at uh, Eminem. They're great. The I love, love those Eminem guys over there. Uh, those are one. That, that's the shop you did a couple pictures of, and they were uh, completely underwater. They were totally underwater. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what we forgot today? No bug spray. Bug spray. Woo, it's getting a little bad. Oh yeah, it is. Literally in the season, but. Put it on the. Uh, list for next week um john oh uh, jonathan rodriguez hey hey john it's good to, good to see you i owe john a call i apologize i'm too busy out on the lake john uh, john we're out on utah lake today oh amber just got another one you want me to wait go ahead um no no here you can you Probably hold does. that and just hold yep. that out of the way and i'll don't let it fall into the box of goodies oh, what boy. body of water are we on this one is, of the questions? Yeah, or that was what John, John just asked. We are on Utah Lake. Utah or, uh, Lake. Yeah, we the just. North end. Yeah, north, the north, north end. Northwest side. Northwest side. Not really. Don't yet. tell everybody. This is our new. This is our new best spot right here. Most of our guys don't fish here. No, they probably have actual good spots. Yeah. Jay Paul was just calling you. Doesn't oh, he know we're doing this show? Yes, he does. Who does? Jay, Jay Paul, Paul was, was just, just calling, calling me. Hey, Jay Paul. Jeremy. Don't Jeremy, Jay call Jay Paul right now. Jeremy, if you are watching, call Jay Paul right now and be like, why are you not watching the show? We watch yours. I, I talked to him earlier today. He's like, I'll make sure that I'm on. <laughs> he got busy. He's a busy guy. What are you going to do? He is such a busy guy. Um, uh, Mitch Rayfield, what's up from Wisconsin? Oh, oh, I'm going to go back, though, to um, uh, Brian Rutherford. Uh, with the question about the EFI 5000. Brian, I am going to get you. Um, I've got a Mud Buddy Sitka hat here for you, Ooh, Brian. Is it a, is it a, that's, so that's the Mud, mud Buddy. No, it's a Mud Buddy. That's an actual Mud Buddy Sitka hat. I'm going to try not to touch it with my, my goopy fish hands, but you know, if there's fish guts on it, that means it's authentic. And generally, you have to pay more for that. Um, but thank you, Brian. Brian, if you'll send me a PM. Uh, private message on this uh, on Facebook. We will get that. We'll get some info info from you and get that sent out. Uh, Joseph Rango, hello from Seg Seguin, Toronto, maybe T O. He underneath know. says Texas. Oh, Texas. <laughs> I see it. I see it right there. Hey, Joseph. Thanks for watching. Rob Rasmussen, yes, fishing AF Boat Harbor today. Basically, we're on the other we're on the other side, but we are very close to the uh, the boat harbor today, Rob. Yes, I'm in on three. Bob Dreyer hopping round three of Mississippi coming up right. It doesn't put them back underwater again. Oh, Jay Paul is watching. We got Jay Paul on everybody. Jay Paul, just and for everybody else who has just jumped on, the score stands thus. Keith is sitting squarely at eight. And it's been a while since he pulled anything well, in. Ambry uh, at five, no, six. No, seven. Seven? Six or seven. Six. I think six, maybe. Because we were tied for a while, and you cut two yeah, more, and then six, I got two more, six. And then four for me. The boat's completely shifted, and I've lost my honey hole. You, you're no oh, longer right in the Keith. hole. So oh, Keith is actually winning for one time, which is very exciting for him. It is. And Jeff's at four, right? Five. <laughs> I'm at <Okay>. four. <laughs> Jay Paul says, I'm watching the show. Wow. LOL. That's funny. Yeah, I know. It's, it's shocking. I know. Um, Eric, been super busy, but finally get to watch live. It's been a month. I know, Eric, welcome back. It's good to see you, buddy. Um, five minutes delay in reading the Eric, comments. Joseph Rangel, yes. Overrated. It really is. So everybody watching, yeah, we're, it is about a five minute delay in, in these comments coming in. We're kind of far out. There's not a lot of cell service around. So I do apologize for that. Um, so I'm gonna put this phone down because I'm getting killed. I gotta, I gotta do a little more fishing. Fish. I can ask questions. Yeah, so keep an, keep an eye on that. I do also, for those of you out there, this is something I was gonna to talk to Jay Paul about, but I don't mind, I don't mind sharing my failure with everybody else. But I purchased last week. I'm gonna come over this side. My first bait caster. 
and I've brought it with me today and it has been a disaster. Like everybody Fate says, everything I've read about it, because I've read, you know, I've watched YouTube videos and everybody's like, yeah, you know, the first couple of times, tons of rat nests and all sorts of problems. And I was like, whatever. Like, it's just, and it has been an absolute disaster And that's all why day. it's just sitting in the So pole it is sitting there and I'm using my backup pole because I can't get anything to work with it. So we might have to do a show here in a little bit or find a, a professional and have a professional guide come out with us and teach us how to use some bait casters. So any of you in the area are really good at bait casting, send me a private message and uh, He pays 20 bucks an hour. I don't pay 20 bucks an hour. Although I happen to have, you know, good hats. I have a I have an in with Mud Buddy. I have a I can get you do some you? swag. Yeah, I need some do stuff. I? Uh so yeah. I don't know why I'm fishing off this way though. There is no fish out this side of the boat. They are all right over there. That's so I guess I went back to fishing too. I guess Jay Paul was watching when he called, so I don't know why he called, but well, maybe he hit the everybody was well, like, been a he phone. is he watching. He is watching. But he's not watching now. No, he is. Oh. Um, uh, we need to give some other stuff away though. Well, what do we got? So anybody with good questions, good comments, do good help, any, any anything like questions? that, I'm looking to give some stuff away. Bob, we got him a hat, so that's good. But yeah, we, I've got a lot, I've got a DVD. I've also got for a really good, I don't know, a comment or a, we do so, I've got a six inch piece of this track that I'm gonna give away Ooh. today. I think I need almost a picture of a boat. Yeah, they, a they can't do it live, so we'll have to give that away later. That's the problem, is that you can't put any kind of pictures up while we're live. So that's that's a challenge but if we could is do we have like a good question or i think i mean you can't you can't cast over the boat <laughs> i know where to fish our baby it's <laughs> oh eight to, eight to whatever to everybody's whatever. gonna take that I right know. in the glasses <laughs> i'm throwing it way over her head keith's gonna catch me it's gonna be bad seriously he's gonna catch amory today it is really nice the sun just kind of went behind a cloud actually if amory will turn you around there is a dark storm a brewing. A brewing. So we really did catch it in the best way possible. There's probably no better time this entire week as in this last hour. So that's, uh, thanks. It's really been so nice the today. The only thing so that could nice make today. this better is after this, we jump on a boat and do a little skiing or wakeboard and that <laughs> would make it the ultimate. That would, that would be nice. Our other goal that we were gonna maybe try and do today, we were gonna try and look at some other, we were, there's supposed to be a, a good inlet yes. fishing just a little further to the west of us, and we were going to maybe go and see if we couldn't find that. But, but being you know, really good. being as a fishing so good, we're not moving. <laughs> like, why would we? You know? Bob Dreyer has a way that you can get Jeff to sing. That I can get what? Get Jeff to sing. How? Hook him. <laughs> hey, Bob. Bob, come on, man. <laughs> You'll not never cool. know until I. <laughs> Not Let me get cool. one of them big number, like one or two catfish hooks in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, oh, I've got I a lot of people at work saying that the guy can sing, so if you want to hear him sing. Yeah, Bob, you got a hat. Him, you just got to get after him. Actually, Bob, yeah, we did, we did say a hat, but I know you probably got some hats already, so if there's something you don't have, like Bob, just PM me and just get in touch with me and we'll, we'll talk. You we'll got a direct that. line, Bob. <laughs> But Bob, we're just so excited. I just know I know how long you've wanted that motor, and we've wanted you to get a motor, and that makes that makes me happy. Bob says to put light line on your bait caster. So how light? So because I've read a lot of different different things. I have a ten pound monofilament on it right now. Is what I put on it. But I had a lot of people that I was reading that was saying, "Oh yeah, there we go." Woohoo! That's five. Eight. For a long time. When was the last time you caught been, one? It's been a while. This is the last time you caught one. We pulled them together, remember? Yeah, we did. That's right. You were trying to one-up me, and I wasn't going to let it happen. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I... We're all... We're all what? We're a little crammed on this boat, so I didn't get a chance to really, like, throw it, throw it. You know? Like, I didn't which is what I probably need to do. Um, Jeff Mullenix wants to know how he knows what his 44 
is geared at. 44. Okay, this is Jeff Nolan X. Team, Team Jeff. Jeff. Woo Team Jeff. Find your oil filter. Right below the oil filter, there's a drain plug. There's a number stamped to the left of it and to the right. I need those two numbers. Shoot me an email with those numbers and what kind of RPM you're getting and what kind of prop you're running. What are you trying to do, Jeff? I'm trying to catch fish. <laughs> some of us do it, some of us try. You want to use my phone to see if it'll work? So Eric Terrazaz, I have no idea how to say your name, oh, Eric. Oh, Eric, yeah. Eric said that they double the weight and use a braided line. I should double the weight and, and use, use a braided, braided line. line. Yeah. Is that, um, yeah. Let's give uh, Eric something, yeah? All right, Eric, for the help. Because we always hey, need help. How about this? Nice, cool fishing shirt. Cool, cool mud yeah. buddy fishing shirt. Yeah, Eric. We can go long sleeve, Eric, or short sleeve, PM Jeff. We need to know your size and if you want a short sleeve or a long sleeve. They're actually nice shirts. I actually have one in my. I know. I almost wish I had one. boots. Like with these, uh, these hot days, they're they're good. Yeah, I have my short sleeve and my long sleeve in there. But I stuck with the shallow water black shirt because I wanted to attract more sun, more heat. Well, like like the rest of the time, it's been really cold the whole week. Because that week, uh, that so. storm is a coming quick. Yeah, it really is. It's coming right through. The that wind's job. picking up there. There's the wind right there. That's right now. The end of the Joseph Rangel, um, who I was talking about, he was, my phone's trying to catch up here, but um, he's talking about that delay. Joseph, I have got, um, I've got a DVD for you, my friend. I've got an Echoes Mallard Madness. Um, if you, the boys. Joseph, that's, yeah, Freddie, Freddie King puts that together. He's really great. Um, so send me a private message. I'll get that sent off to you, Joseph Rangel. Uh, Lightning don't care who you are. Get out of there, brother. You are right. We are uh, seriously moments away. We're going to we're going to wrap this up cuz because Keith's winning. Cuz Keith's winning and he, he wants to win. To win something. Uh, but I do have Jesse Wooten from Tuscaloosa. Hey, Tuscaloosa. What's up, Jesse? Mark Carroll, nobody outranks safety. Get out the water. Yes, we're going. We we are going. Storms about Oh, we should go. Yeah, yeah we should. Actually, it go. is time to go. All right, on that note, I, I love your safety. I really appreciate everybody being so uh, safe with us. Is What I want is your best fishing picture. Um, once we are done going live, you'll be able to post it in these comments. Send me your best picture. Best picture, I'm going to send a six inch piece of the E-Track to you. All right? So let's get those pictures going. Uh, we'll be back out probably on the water next Wednesday at um, 3 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, and we will see you then. Until then, stay safe. We'll be back right here in the shallow water. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.